Hi there, I'm Shri Bharagi. I'm an Associate Product Manager on Platform. What I'm going to show you today is how to make your end users more productive while saving your admin's time. Let's get started. I want you to imagine that you are a salesperson, a car salesperson, and you open up Salesforce, you log in, and you see this vehicle object page. Now, this page is important to you because it tracks the entire life cycle of your main product, your cars, from the evaluation stage to the ownership stage. It has all the information you could possibly need. Now ask yourself, as an end user, as a salesperson, why? Why are you on this page? Well, you're here to extract important information quickly so you can use that information to close deals. And that's where you can see the problem arise because this page and your goal of getting information quickly, getting in and out, are disconnected. There's too much information. When you're in a time crunch, it's difficult to focus on the handful of fields that are the most important to you. We're gonna solve this pain point. Let's take this page and let's re-envision it with dynamic forms and actions. And we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison here. Left is traditional, right is upgraded. And you're gonna notice a few differences. What instantly pops out here is the simplicity of the right-hand side. Same information, but it's split up. It's placed appropriately. It's more readable. It's less cluttered. Now this alone is going to make you more efficient as the end user. But what's really interesting here is the logic running the show behind the scenes visibility rules. Let me show you a few examples here. When I change status from evaluation to purchase, pay close attention, I'm gonna save, and you're gonna notice a couple of sections disappear. Only what's relevant remains, the purchasing details. Let's continue on our journey. When the status is manufacturing, manufacturing details appear, everything else vanishes. Now, let's say you move from manufacturing to delivery. Pay close attention to this area on the highlights panel. We're gonna save and you're gonna notice a new action called customer follow-up appears on the highlights panel. It doesn't appear too early, it doesn't appear too late, it's just on time exactly when you need it. Let me pause for a second here. This is how we're hitting that value add of efficiency. We're surfacing relevant information at the right place, at the right time, and literally guiding our end users in a step-by-step -step fashion. Now I bet as an admin right now, your top questions are, how do I make this happen? and how will this save me time? Okay, let's open up Lightning App Builder for our vehicle page, and we're gonna go from start to finish in three steps. Now you're gonna open it up and you're gonna see guardrails. Guardrails just highlight best practices for admins. In this case, it's recommending that we upgrade to dynamic forms using a migration wizard. This takes us to step one, migration. Let's go ahead and use this wizard to migrate from this traditional layout to dynamic forms. And in a few seconds, this migration is complete. If you click on any one of these fields, you'll notice the migration process preserves every field's metadata, every field's designation of read-only required. We really want this migration to be as seamless as possible. Okay, step two. Let's quickly rearrange the fields and sections. Let's place them within appropriate tabs. Really, we just want to craft a more readable experience for our end users. Now, let's say in this process, I accidentally delete a field. Well, no problem, I can access a library of the fields on the left and revive any field of my choosing. This is also where you can create a custom section from scratch. Okay, step three, let's create some visibility rules. For this customization section, we had a couple of visibility rules and they went like this. Hide this section when status is purchasing. Hide this section when status is manufacturing. Okay, if you recall, we had another visibility rule on this action customer follow-up. It's very similar reasoning here. If status equals delivery, then this action customer follow-up shows up. Let's take it up a notch. Let's say your end users come to you and they say, when I'm on my phone, I don't need all of this information. Let's honor that request. You don't need a new layout. You just need to set a single rule by device. All right, here it is. It says, if you're on desktop, you will see the section. If you're on mobile, you won't. Simple, done. Let's keep it going. Let's say you know, you're the admin and sales manager comes up to you and says, you know, I really like Shub's demo at Trailer DX, but that customer follow-up action, it made me uneasy. I have experienced salespeople where this would be great, but I also have rookie salespeople who are in the learning phase and I don't want you know, my rookies to see this action just quite yet. Traditionally, this would require a completely new page layout, which is not trivial at all, but with dynamic forms and actions, it boils down to a single rule. And I can show that to you right now. It says, if a user has the permission channel sales, then and only then will this user see this customer follow-up action. Okay, 
Well, let's take a step back here and let's review everything we've done. How did we make this happen? Well, we've taken our traditional layout for vehicle and first we've seamlessly upgraded it via in-app guidance. Secondly, we've rearranged the field for formatting and increased readability. And lastly, we've set visibility rules based on other records, the characteristics of the user, and our devices of choice. We've done this in a matter of minutes. Let's pause for a second here. This is how we're hitting that second value add of time saving for admins. I mean, think about it. Imagine your sales report today. As an admin, you have to maintain several slightly different versions of the same page, you know, different versions to support different profiles. While with dynamic forms and actions, a single page can be customized in a way that sales sees what's relevant to sales, but also HR sees what's relevant to HR. Again, in a single page. And I want to end by asking you a question. You've seen how dynamic forms and actions make end users more productive, save admins time. Now I want to invite you to explore the possibilities. How can dynamic forms and actions empower your company, empower your admins, empower your end users?